You see, the value of a Muslim blood is worthless now. Nothing. The blood which is running in the veins of the Muslims has no value. The value is only in the blood of all other religions. Why? Why this intellectual hypocrisy? Why the Western media is being playing this hypocrisy? Yesterday I was looking at the news. They said that the pregnant woman was ripped off because of the bomb and the shells of shellings of these uh, Russian armies. And they are portraying every single woman. What happening to her? What about the woman of Iraq? What about the little kids of Syria? What about the little kids of uh, Libya? What about the little kids of Afghanistan, Pakistan? What happened? Where, where these people go? They have no value. Our blood is nothing. Everything is you. You have everything in the world. All the prerogatives and pleasures. You see, this is what the Newton's third law of motion. To every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. This is the punishment for the West. The atrocities, brutalities, the injustices they did on other nations, especially to the Eastern Bloc of the half of the world. This is what happens. This is not about Muslims here. Do not blame us now. The war on terrorism. All the time you have only one sales point to sell your journalism. Now say, we want to hear what you want to say about Russia. Uh, yesterday I saw this, the video of uh, Vladimir Putin. He said it, that why this whole thing is happening? He said he, he warned these people that don't join NATO, Ukrainian people, don't join NATO because Moscow is near. Five minutes. Now you tell me how a person can, you know, tolerate this and let other nation, the opposite nation, to bring all those, you know, high kind of weapons near to the border and the capital is near to other nation. How? Who, who will bear that? You tell me. Who allowed this in the country? So he, this is what he has, the values. He has his points, the positive points. You see, let me clear one thing. I, as a person, as a Muslim, Alhamdulillah, we testified that the Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final and he is the mercy for all of the mankind. And another pillar says that Muhammad is the Rahmat, mercy. You see, nobody has a right to uproot, to kill innocent people. Nobody. I am not in the favor of what's happening in Ukraine. Please mark my words. What I'm trying to say that everything has a counterpart, counter reaction. Why don't you see that this is all but like the, the harvesting, not harvesting. This is the sowing, whatever you sow that shall you reap of the Western people, especially the American. You see, they're living on the, on the other side of the continent. You don't know what's happening on the right side. You see, this is happening as slow. And so now, why I'm telling all this? I'm not making a blame games here. I'm telling you, this is the reason why this, this, this is the reason which media doesn't show you. You see, America, America always do like this. You know, they always do like this. They control the media in their hands and then they try to make a hero. Who is ever the hero is the hero. Who is the evil is the evil. Muslims are being the victim of Western media for more than 40 years now. And what did we achieve? More people, more Christians, they converted into Islam. You know that? Reverted into Islam, Alhamdulillah. Because they sense that, that the lies are there. They lie against Islam. And Muslims, they're becoming Muslim, Alhamdulillah. Now you see, Allah says in the Quran, and even it's in the Bible. You know, when Jews came to Jesus Christ and they said to him, that father Abraham, father Abraham, they taunt him. 